Hello, how are you? Tonight, we're going to talk about mermaids and sirens. Answer questions about what the mermaids and sirens are, the difference between these, the culture where they appear, the things that the mermaids can do and sirens can do, and more similar things like this. First, we're going to start with mermaids. The reality of mermaids was assumed during medieval times when they were depicted matter of fagly alongside no aquatic animals such as whales. Hundreds of years ago, sailors and residents in coastal towns around the world thought of encountering the sea maidens. A mermaid was a half human and half fish type of creator. Mermaid stories appear in the folklore of many cultures worldwide, including Europe, Africa, and Asia. First, we are going to talk about some mermaids of Europe. Europe, 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 Europe. In the Scotland and Orkney Islands, there is an unusual creature called Selkie. Selkies are gentle cattles who live their lives as seals while in the water and shed their skin to become human on land. But they are frequently equated with mermaids because in Gaelic stories they are associated with Maigem Mara or Maya of the Sea. When she comes out the water, she can walk on light waters than only life in the water and can walk that the circus do. The circus legends are more tragedy than another legends of silence around the world that will talk more later. later, later. Next in the list is the Melusine. It's a feminine spirit found in many medieval folk stories. France, Germany, Luxembourg, and Albania, she does more appellation in countries than the Selkie. All have varying tales of Melusine, but the general legend describes her as a wonderful maiden who attends her revenge on her father on behalf of her mother only to be punished by her mother with serpent style. Image of the sea, sea fire can be seen over the world, especially on the coffee cups of Starbucks, which has a metal scene like Mermaid as its logo that we may be she is the most famous of our lives. Now we are talking about the Mero from Ireland. Female Meros have their long green hair. They are more similar to the traditional sirens than the Selkie and Melusi. Male Meros are considered more hideous and frightening than female Meros. Also, they are considered more fish than men. The Rushalka from Russia, often translated as mermaid. These water nymphs of Slavic meat were originally considered benevolent because they come off of the water in the spring to water crops. But the mythology also has a darker side. Roshalka are told to be the spirits of girls who died beyondly, and thus they can frequently lure men and children to their own watery deeds. To finish with the European ones, the film folk from Norway and Orkney Island. It's probably the least like a traditional version of a mermaid. Film folk are shape shifters of the sea, considerate nomads who can alternate between living on land and their ancestral home. Film folk Film folk tend to have an antagonistic relationship with humans. They often can abduct humans for their excuses, making them more servant than part of No, in Africa there is a kind of merman called Mami Wata. The water spirit Mami Wata is sometimes described as merman, sometimes as snake charmer, and occasionally as combination of both. Found in many African folk stories, the legend of Mami Wada made its way to Americans during the Atlantic slave trade. Although she can sometimes take a human form, but she can be fully human. She is closely associated with the healing, fertility, and sex. In Asia, Japan exists a special kind of mermaid, Kalin Ningyo. Vastly different 
than the western version of a beautiful mermaid. This monster found in Japanese folklore is described as a giant fish with a human face and sometimes even horns and fangs. In a serious conflict of interest, anyone who eats the new yolk will have eternal joy and beauty. But the majority can't catch one because often bring terrible storms and misfortune to enter the village if they catch one. In Japan, it is an older version called Kappa, site to reside in Japanese lakes, gods and rivers. These child-sized water spirits appear more animal than human, with simian face and tortoise shells on their backs, like the blue men. The Kappa sometimes interact with humans and change them to games or skill, in which penalty for losing is death. Kappa are said to have an appetite for children and thus foolish enough to swim along in remote places, but they especially prize fresh cucumbers. You could I that the Kappa is the most interactive of mermaids we were talking about and this unlike the previous can interact with humans and the Ningyu can do it for the disaster that she can cause. The most known mermaid of Brazil is probably the Yara. The idea of mermaids in Brazil comes from the tale of Fiara, the lady of the waters. Yara was originally known as water snake, but through folklore became an immortal woman. This meant that she can die. And she has green eyes, raw skin, who was known lure silos to her in the water palace, where they become her lovers. Yara is blamed for many accidents in the Amazon, especially those where men disappear. New Zealand is home to Marakihau. Most tales of mermaids are passed down through spawn tales and pictures, and in New Zealand's Maori folklore, they are also seen in cover animals. A little more intense than mermaids, the Marakihau is a taniwa of the sea. It has a human head and the body of a very long fish, as well as long two grand tongue that is often blamed for destroying canals and swallowing large quantities of fish. Now we are going to talk about sirens, maybe one of the most known creatures of the world. If you search the internet for images of sirens, you'll probably get a flood of beautiful women with fish tails and for this reason many people think that they are the most beautiful creatures in the world. So in many ways the modern siren is a creepy version of the mermaid. Her long hair and scaly tail are deeply colored. Her eyes and skin are ghostly pale. And she is say, against a stormy background as she work waiting to happen, but the reality is another. These images are far cry from the original sirens. Instead of caving fish tails, the fish sirens had big fetters, fractured wings, clever feet, and sometimes a spiral style. They were not particularly beautiful, especially considered to the sand nines who frolicked in the waters below the a siren was a half-woman and half-bird type of creature, which belonged to the Greek mythology, not half-fish as many people believe. This means that they can live in the water. They were nymphs who can live on islands surrounded by cliffs. Sirens were believed to commit women and birds in various ways. Like mermaids, even sirens can attract and seduce the sailors with their shrill voices by enchanting and singing different tunes. But sirens had weak and evil intentions behind their motives. They used to draw the sailors into the sea. This proves that they were warfare and dangerous in nature. As you can see, according to Greek mythology, sirens can be gentle creatures. The sirens appear in the oldest works of Greek literature. Homer, Virgil, Pliny the Elder, Ovid, Seneca and Hesiod all describe 
these bewitching singers. By the end of the Greek period, Grecian scholars have concluded that the women were no more than fable. Yet their legend lived on for centuries after the Greek civilization broke away. The sirens are one of the most famous characters of the world. This is due to the hay crack singing voice, which was so full of motion that they drove men in sand. They also can accompany their voice with musical instruments, lyres, flautas, and pipes. They also had or claimed to have prophetic abilities, which lent depth to the lyrics of their songs. Although the original sirens have gone out of fashion. Siren Maven hybrids are still incredibly popular. They can be found in all sorts of works of fantasy, from fairy tales written by Hans Christian Andersen and C.S. Lewis to blockbuster movies like Harry Potter and Pirates of Caribbean. But these creatures had their mythical stories. Mermaid and Siren both were known for their beauties and different behavior features that they can or can do. They were the most attractive and seductive women. woman. Hence, men often used to get attracted towards them. These had their typical behaviors, like mermaids had golden long hairs and often used to see themselves in mirrors or see reflections. They always used to play with their hairs. On the other hand, sirens were known for singing and sensing abilities, which attract the males. Hence, sirens were the most dangerous, with evil and weak intention to the mermaids, who were gentle and keen towards humans.